and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be coming to you by the way of radio and by the way of television. And I'll tell you what, it's a great, a great day in the Lord today. A great day to be a child of God. A great day to be living and see all these Bible prophecies come to life. Praise God, come to pass. And I'll tell you something, if you don't believe they are, just look at the world around us. Look what's going on. Uh, overseas, look at uh, Israel and look at other countries and the Bible says there will be wars and rumors of wars and, and says, you know, that all these things must come to pass before the end. But these are a sign that it is the end times and that he's even at the door. The coming of the Lord is so near. It's even at the door. And a lot of people says, well, I've heard that the Lord's coming back for years and years. He's not coming back. I tell you, so the Bible says he is coming back, and he will. He is coming back, and he will. Praise God. One of these days, and it might not be too far off, Jesus is coming back. And the main thing is, are you ready? Do you have your heart right with the Lord? Are you living for Him? Are you doing what He told you to do? See, the Lord has got a call on everyone's life to do something for Him. God wants His will done here in the earth, and He wants us to live our life out and get His will done. And you know what? If you refuse to do what God has called you to do, He's got somebody out there that'll do it. He will move on. He's long-suffering, and He'll give you every chance to let Him use you. And then if you don't, eventually He'll, because His will is going to be done. He's already determined, determined it before the foundation of the world. He'll bring it to pass. And the main thing is that, are we willing? Are we willing to do it? Praise God. I hope you know the Lord today. I hope you're serving Him. I hope Jesus is your Lord and the Lord of your life. I hope you've made Him the Lord of your life today. If you've not, today would be a perfect day to ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Ask Him to save you. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins. Maybe he's knocked at your heart before. Maybe you've turned him away. Maybe he's knocked at your heart many times before, and you've rejected him. The Bible says that he's standing at the door, knocking. Jesus stands at the door, and he knocks on your heart. Now, is he going to bust the door down and come in? Mm -mm. No. It's our choice. We've got to let him come in. We've got to allow him to come in. He said, if you'll open up the door, I will come in and sup with you. I'll come in and eat supper with you. I'll come in. Some translation says, and eat with you. I'll come in and fellowship with you. I'll come in and I'll talk to you. I'll be your Lord if you'll let me. That's what he's saying. And today, if he knocks on your door, don't harden up your heart. Don't say, no, I, you know, you're not coming in. I've got a whole life ahead of me. I've got, oh, I'm young, and I've got many more years. Maybe when I get older or, you know, maybe when, you know, if I'm ever going to think I'm going to die or something, maybe I'll, I'll ask Jesus to come in. I won't take a chance on that. You could be here today. You can be living and breathing. The next minute, you could close your eyes and be gone in an instant. In a second of time, you could close your eyes here on earth and open them in hell. And then it's too late. It's too late.
receive the Lord while there's still time. While there's still time. Ask Him to be Lord of your life. Believe in Him. Receive Him. Accept Him today. No matter where you are, I know that God right now is dealing with hearts of people that are tuned in and listening. You may be in the nursing home. You may be in the hospital. You may be in jail. You may be just driving down the road with your radio on. You may be sitting at home. You may be eating breakfast. Whatever you're doing, take time. Take time to recognize the Lord. Take time to believe in Him. Take time to ask Him into your heart. Take time to pray today you know we live in a busy world 